Well, now, welcome back. This, and I still the Good Morning Niger show, and I don't see super headline review. Things hit up, not this small. And I not say, where you sit down, vex today, your body. It did our body. It did work. Yes, we lost serious of, matter. Uh, not this serious security matter. issue. Not serious matter. Uh, but I can just talk the last time I talk. I say, I hope, say, in the coming week, or this week, where we did so, uh, make the discussion not just focus on uh, disparity in number. Mm -hmm. Make government not talk, say, na lie, na 43. You and say, na ah. lie, na 100. Because now, what do they do on top? Uh, yes. Because it get time where you go see for one newspaper, they'll say 42. Another one will say 41. Another one will say 30, 25. So, and gradually, you go come, come on for the most important go matter. Come, come the matter no be you number. Come, come the matter na waiting. Say, say people, people do die. waiting. People die yes. on top of the matter. Make yes. we address them. Well, right. um, this morning, our issue, when we say we won't discuss, we look at our constitution. Mm. You know, say, as it be Nigeria today, people they talk so many things. You they look governance. We they look the billions of people that they drop every day. Mm. On top one project, we say project, we mm -hmm. say. They say, what is Nigeria's biggest pro problem? They say, our leadership. Mm -hmm. Then be our biggest problem. Mm -hmm. uh, people say leadership is our biggest problem because they will not get institutions when fit check the leaders. Yes. Say institutions not strong to check the leaders. People say now they talk, say make NAS begin cut down their own allowance. Which person go debate on top of NAS matter? Not Who sit down on top of National Assembly won't talk, we'll say, say come out the gold when they my mouth? Exactly. People say now because it be like say the document we hold for hand not be the correct one. People don't say, bless you, our matter start from what's in the constitution itself. Mm -hmm. And I waiting we won't discuss this morning. Oga um, Dele Farotimi will be legal practitioner. Now don't join us now online uh, to really look this matter. This document, what we say, what they call our constitution. Because it will, mm. just as many of you talked before, uh, we know we introduced this segment, say, Citizens also get rights yes, no. to question these so called leaders. Leaders, yes. Uh, questions of things that we say no, also they write. Yes. Uh, make we also find out whether our constitution self give us that backing uh, to look them, question them. But first of all, Ogadele, good morning as you join us um, for our show this morning. Uh, when do we want to start? First of all, we say, now true, say constitution, what we hold for hand, the head not too correct. Now, the Wala first starts. You know, when you begin to talk, you can't make one major error just then. You say okay. our constitution. Mm -hmm. Okay. That was correct answer. What will be, you be your constitution? Where you write them? Mm -hmm. Now you are who write them? Mm -hmm. Where on us you don't take right them? Question of the day. <laughs> Look. Me. For me, you know, before I become a lawyer, I've been waka waka for university school learn English more. It's okay. So this English language, when we begin to talk and make we talk and be very careful with the words where we choose. Mm. When you say our constitution, mm. you they feel among you. Mm. Not, Not true. true. Not true. Now because they, they say the Nigerian not constitution, me say the Nigerian. Exactly. You say go say you there among them. Not you not there. Mm. Okay. It is one thing to be aspiring. If that will be say you see rich man, you say one rich. <laughs> yeah, they aspire to become rich. Yeah, be. I can understand that. Mm -hmm. That one get edge, he get him. But when you come sit down, one ask me question, you come they ask me, this is our constitution. Yeah. <laughs> Make we first of all get it clear. Not be our constitution. Okay. The last time when we say Nigerian people sit down anywhere, talk say they won't get constitution. In 1963. Okay. Hmm? Mm -hmm. First of all, make we understand that one. When I hear waiting, you all ask me, I begin laugh inside of me. Now school, we won't go this morning. Mm. Because That's first right. of all, we need to first of all destroy the lies on top of which we have attempted to build. Because if you want to build 10 story building, mm -hmm. you go get you go call engineer, you go call architect. Then go come design the foundation. Yeah. On top of which then go put the house. Now that foundation go determine whether the house it go fit standard. Yeah. Or whether it go fall. Or it go break down. Mm-hmm. You know this building collapse, building collapse. Where they have for Lagos, there's a bad building material. Uh, Short the engineering work. Now mm -hmm. the same thing with mm -hmm. country too. Mm hmm. When Obodo Ibo be full grand for air bracket. They build country where we'll go do waiting them won't make the government make the country do for them. Okay. They come here, come thief with money. First thing first, before we both come, Arab don't come through the desert, through Sahara. Those ones don't come, bring their religion. For people from this area come, bring their own religion. Yeah. 
One man go carry this to another man go carry Bible. When they come down, sit down and say they're not trained human beings again, we, we, they don't need us. Maybe we can't build plantation anywhere again. They decide say Christianity does not allow sleep. Mm. So they are going to stay. So they built a place. They call it Nigeria. They brought together a different nationality, sat down together. The Yoruba come, if you will come. They don't ask us questions. No. Mm -hmm. They just put everybody together. Iruwa, Giriwa, all of us jump together. Uh, they just do like porridge. <laughs> Now them think because they need us to work for them. Yeah. When you reach time, when we say they don't tire, they won't begin to go to their country. They begin to sit us down and say, hey, you can't just live like this. Even though we met you as scattered tribes and you are fighting yourselves, killing yourselves to send us slaves. Now that we have civilized, we have to leave you with a country. Not unlike the type we're full on our own side. Mm. But this is our own country, you see. We don't even know who be who when we begin to create Southern Protectorate, Northern Protectorate. We bring everybody together. They call our council down. So we began to sit down. From as far back as around 1949, 1950, there were constitutional conferences being held. Being People held, were yeah. being yeah. Mm -hmm. By 1951, the first federal legislative council was formed. That was the beginning of our. Oh, Ibo man, now what is Sutan? I want. Yes, no. Yes. He first of all, he carry. He said that seventy-two people and seventy-two go dead the entire representative council. So he allocated thirty-six seats to the north. Remember, everybody went there across the Niger for all of us for Niger are not. Are no, not. Uh... So carry thirty-six, give not. They come carry, and I believe yes, 18. They carry 18, give west. Carry 18, give east. Remember, I say when you talk east, not be only Ipoma and Dede. Mm -hmm. When you talk west, not be only Yoruba and Dede. Mm -hmm. But they don't carry everybody, lump everybody together, they don't become porridge. So now, this time around, don't give half of the country to one side. You can't share the remaining half with the rest. With the rest. Okay, it was a few what effectively created since 1951. That was for the administrative convenience of the people. All this long story, where they tell you, it is important so that you would understand the foundation, but I'll begin to cut it short from that point. Okay. okay. Now, after 1951 and leading up to 1960, there were a series of constitutional conferences. These conferences, eventually led to the creation of the 1960 constitution mm -hmm. which was in operation until it was replaced by the republican constitution of 1963. that republican constitution of 1963 was what was in place and it by 1963 had broken into four regions the military came in 1966, first in January, Kaduna Nzeo coup, which failed. And then the second coup of July 1966, which is in effect a Niger combination, mm. or shall I say a state. From that 1966 up till this moment, the Nigerian people have never been consulted in determining how to be governed and essentially by who? So what was a federal constitution in 1963 at four regions in 1963 was in operation until 1966, but from that moment till today, every constitution that has been, that has purported to take with the people have essentially been lies. Hmm. The 1979 constitution has a clear of perhaps say, con some level of consultation because there was there was a constituent assembly okay. in 1978 or 77. But since that time, imagine we were 19 states at that time. We are 36 states who were consulted before we became. Nobody, only a group of bandits 
sat down together and unilaterally, serially and unilaterally mm. began to decide what Nigeria would look like. So when you say we the people, when you say our constitution, mm. it is a lie. It is our constitution. It is Abdul Salami's constitution. He sat down with he knows who. And the ones before him had sat down. When you are talking about Nigeria constitution and you remember that the people who have decided how many states will be at the likes of Babangida, the likes of Abacha, proven thieves, Abdul Salami, those are the ones who sat down. So what was the motivation for the nation, that, for the country that they have handed to us, it was only about stealing, the convenience of stealing, make it easy to steal. That has been the purpose of the Nigerian constitution since 1966. Hmm. So please, let's clear up that to understand. Okay, sir. Not have a constitution. Okay, sir. I, I would like to ask this question. I say, you don't give us this uh, total breakdown of how this whole uh, matter take begin. Share nowhere inside this constitution. Day where they go talk say before they go fit change anything for inside, they go need to get this conference where it's supposed to happen before any change fee happen. Because as as, yeah. you, as you take talk, um, you talk say they get conference before they fee creates that first one, they get conference before they fee change or cre recreate the other one. So you should mean say this uh, conversation not day inside the constitution say okay, well, before anything fee change. Oh, this conference must happen, and they must consult the people regarding uh, this kind of situations. You know, the, the funny thing about our situation is that because we have for too long accepted lies without question, hmm. even embedded in the question that I was asked originally, are the kernels of the lies that we have been told for generations and that we had embraced and accepted as given. Hmm. What we have right now, we are essentially a people who have been captured by a rapacious set of human beings who have devised a way to keep us enslaved. If anybody is looking to the 1999 constitution to provide the solution to our problem, then we are being unserious. Over 200 years ago, the Americans sat down and drafted a constitution. In drafting that constitution, they envisaged the worst case scenario. Mm -hmm. And they drafted with the worst case scenario in mind. All right. I'm a lawyer. When I'm drafting an agreement, I'm at all the eventualities that might arise in the course of the relationship that the agreement is meant to govern. Mm -hmm. So when you are drafting any document, the intentions behind your exertions would be easily gleaned from looking at the document that you have produced. The founding fathers of America did not want a dictator to imagine America. Okay. They were worried because they had just come out of English colonialism. So they drafted a document that ensured that the head of government never becomes a dictator, okay. however okay. strong might be, however strong is support. So they drafted a constitution that was meant to build institutions that would protect against dictatorship. Mm -hmm. Their intentions in building their country were altruistic insofar as it relates to the long-term stability and viability of the American state. Nigeria was not designed with the Nigerian people in mind. Hmm. If you were designing Nigeria with Nigerian people in mind, you would not have 36 emirs who tend to be governor. So when you now say, does the Constitution itself, that fraudulent document called the 1999 Constitution, mm -hmm. has it provided the opportunity for self-regulation invention mm -hmm. or some sort of opportunity to amend it? I assure you it has. What it has done is that in 21 years of its operation, it has managed the price political class 
to a point where there are, there are no ideological differences anymore. It has assured ideological syncretism. That is when you don't even know what the person is anymore. If it's, if it's a religion, find the person with the Quran, the Torah, the Bible, and is quoted from all and taking different from different principles from it. It's the same with our politicians now. We don't know what party they belong to anymore because mm -hmm. that constitution has assured it. Yes. Wow. So what you have to do is that that constitution has assured the feudalization of Nigerian democracy. So if you are looking to that constitution as the vehicle for any change, you are fooling yourselves. Mm. Wow. That constitution does not have the capacity or regeneration or for reformation. All it does is that it has been designed to assure the preservation of the powers of the clean class that, that created. Because even by the force, what used to be stolen are now properly appropriate. Hmm. So you find that the Nigerian constitution has created two classes of Nigerians. Number one, it has taken away citizenship from everybody. Mm -hmm. It has now created an upper class that has factions within it and has sections. So you have the economic class within the ruling class who takes advantage of government patronage on behalf of members who are in the political offices or who have come out. That class is essentially above the law. And everybody has hmm. now what it means is that that constitution has legalized impunity. Hmm. That is why you can see a Ponte fainting in the national attempt, and nothing is happening, nobody's talking about it. Mm -hmm. But PFCC is chasing around the Yahoo boy, who has probably stood here, yeah, it's so, and it should be dealt with. But he is not stealing on the same level as the person who is stealing hospitals, who is stealing roads, who is stealing airports, who is stealing schools. But he is not structured to chase after the man who is stealing those ones. He is structured to chase after the small ones so that he gives you the impression yes. that there is law and, and order. So don't fool yourselves looking to the Nigerian constitution of night. Me, as far as I'm concerned, any Nigerian that is looking the 1999 constitution for salvation, or who is making the error of looking to 2023, which is governed by the 1999 constitution, or any iteration of it that this fraudulent National Assembly will put together as amendment, persons are fooling themselves. Nigeria has come where it be like when you might get plenty of inside bin. You have to put it down on the table. Don't count out it. They remove the stone. Yeah. Plenty of stone, the Nigerian. Anybody who takes that 1999 constitution to carry anybody to anywhere, it waste time. He, he, he will still retain the status. You will still have 774 local governments. Yeah. You still have the prioritization of the comfort an interest of the ruling class. Nobody is going to lead poverty away, but you still can have priorities in the country. Our current priorities are not the, the Nigerian is not it. So, Garo Timi, now be say, if we really want to move to talk about this change, you know, so we talk about this development, so they talk about every day, they hammer, they complain. Now be say, we need to sit down, look that constitution, change them. Is the starting point. Okay. It's not the there is no magic bullet clearly to solving areas problem. Hmm. But if anybody is serious about wanting to change Nigeria or to put it on the path to its greatness, because it, it has all the potentials in the world to be great, mm -hmm. you need to start with the 1999 constitution. There is nothing redeemable about that constitution. Everybody speaking for that constitution is either speaking from a position of extreme ignorance, mm. intellectual indolence, mm. 
or they are beneficiaries of that fraudulent document. There is nothing he's doing for the Nigerian. All right then. Well, thank you very much, um, um, Ogadele, for your contribution this morning. A very interesting point. Yes, now you don't share. Give us on top um, that uh, matter. I go don't correct myself. Yes, so not be our constitution. Now the, the Nigerian constitution. A fraudulent constitution. Me on another they call and constitution again. Not be our own. All right. Now, <laughs> now, to salami to them. Now, them by babanti that them. them. Mm. All right. All right, sir. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Now, Gadele Faro Timi, we don't talk, talk to since morning, he's a legal practitioner, and he don't break down the matter uh, on top the Nigerian constitution and, of course, the way forward uh, on top of that particular matter.